Hello folks, uh, this is uh, 2017 October November paper 41 and the question number is 6 and this question is again re related to the chapter of uh, capacitors a bit uh, uh, complex it is so it says that uh, two capacitors P and Q P and Q each of capacitance C are connected in series with a battery of EMF 9.0 volt as shown in figure 6.1 so we have capacitors uh, P and Q P and Q with capacitances C and C across this thing. A switch S uh, is used to connect either a third capacitor T, third capacitor T, uh, also capacitor C or a resistor R. So this switch uh, connects either this capacitor or this resistor in the circuit. Uh, and it is in parallel to the capacitor. So in number A, switch S is in position X. So this switch S has been set in position X, which means that uh, the resistor is not in connection with the circuit and it's only the capacitor that connects to the circuit. Calculate the combined capacitance in terms of C of the three resistors. So at this time, the whole circuit will be somewhat like this. Somewhat like this. So if I draw it here, it will be somewhat like this. So this is the source here, source 9.0 volt. This will be one capacitor. Then we have next capacitors like this. Next capacitor here. And this is another capacitor. So what we have now is these two are in parallel and uh, this whole combination, this whole combination will be in series with this. And all of them has capacitance C, C and C, C, C and C. So uh, the total capacitance will be somewhat like this. So the total of this and this is, is 2C, 2C. So this uh, thing will appear somewhat like this. Um, this is the source, this is the this capacitor and this is the combined capacitor which is 2C so this is 2C this is C now 2C and C are in series so the capacitance total will be equal to 1 by C total is equal to 1 by C plus 1 by 2C equal to uh, 2C it is 2 plus 1 equal to 3 by 2C which means that uh, the C total will be equal to 2C by 3 so here I have applied this uh, equation of uh, uh, reciprocal sum so if uh, you are comfortable enough you can try this uh, uh, try uh, try the, the, the uh, overall formula also you can do like this c total is equal to c into 2c divided c plus 2c which will be equal to 2c square by uh, 3c equal to 2c by 3 so either you can do this or you can do this so anything works so it'll be equal to 2c by 3 now we have to calculate the potential difference across capacitor Q here. So with the overall capacitance, I can find the charge delivered by this source. So the charge delivered by the source should be equal to equal to total capacitance C total into the overall PD. Overall PD here, which is equal to 9 volt. So we have 2C by 3 into uh, into this uh, 9.0. So it should be equal to 3 to the 9 and 3 to the 6 so it is 6.0 C so QS is equal to 6.0 C so the PD across this thing will be equal to let's say this is equal to VQ here so this VQ should be equal to equal to uh, Q here QS by uh, this uh, uh, cap capacitance here C so it's equal to 6.0 C by C equal to 6.0 volt so here I have used this QS because what happens here is if the charge delivered by the source is 6.0 coulomb so what happens here is so we'll have a plus 6.0 coulomb here and minus 6.0 coulomb here coulomb here so plus 6.0 minus 6.0 and here we have got uh, if there is connection here what I have is this uh, minus 6.0 coulomb will be divided over here so it should be plus 3.0 coulomb here and plus 3.0 coulomb here. So here it will be minus 3.0 coulomb and it will be minus 3.0 coulomb. So this minus 3 and minus 3 will be minus 6. So this minus 6 and this plus 6 will be equal and opposite to each other. So here I must use for this capacitor I must use this total uh, charge delivered by the source which is uh, QS or plus 6. So that's why it is 6.0 volt. So PD here is 6.0 volt. Now, in the next question, what we have is, next question says, 
switch S, switch S is now moved to position Y. So this uh, switch S, which uh, we, we had a previous connection with uh, this X, uh, X, it is moved to Y. So Y means that this capacitor is now useless. And the circuit will somewhat, uh, will be like this. So now the circuit will be like this. So this is the source, source here. This is the capacitor here. Now it will simply be uh, this capacitor, of course. And then we have this resistor here. This resistor here, somewhat, somewhat, somewhat like this. So this was C, this was C, and this is R. So the circuit will be somewhat like this. Now what happens here is now, the charge that it had, the energy that it had, or the charge, let us say, this charge will flow along with this, along with this. So that's why uh, its a voltage, whatever it was previously, will start to decrease. So let's uh, let's go for the, its uh, uh, potential difference here. So what we have just derived was uh, in the next, in the previous space, in the previous space, let me fold and show it here. In the previous space, we have uh, done something like this. So the potential difference here, here was equal to 6.0 volt. So initial PD here should be equal to equal to 3.0 volt. So this is capacitor P here. So if I look at the diagram here, look at the diagram here, this capacitor P here. So, 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 this capacitor P, in this capacitor P, 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 we have the initial PD is 3 volt. Now when the positive charge flow like this, like this to neutralize the, this negative thing, the current will flow from here, flow from here, uh, so the charge will decrease here and the PD also will decrease. So ultimately the PD will decrease to zero. So what happens here is PD decreases, decreases from from 3.0 volt initial value to zero volt. Now for Q, what happens is for Q, what we now have is the initial is uh, 6.0, of course, initial 6.0. Now, if the PD across here, the PD across here uh, goes from 3.0 to 0, 3.0 to 0. Now, when the PD across here becomes 0, we must have the remaining PD should be, should appear across here. Here we have 9.0 volt here. So, according to Kurzweil's law, PD can be lost or EMF uh, can be lost. So, that's why if the PD here becomes 0, the PD here should be equal to 9.0 minus 0. So it's equal to 9.0 volt. So what happens here is the PD here will be uh, the PD increases from increases from 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 three. Uh, mm, uh, sorry, this is six actually. So this is 9.0 volt. It's because it's because this thing goes from three to zero. So if it is zero, the whole PD should be appearing across here. So initially it was six, and then it should go to 9.0 volt. So this completes all the questions of this, all the parts of this question.